How about a creepy crawly insect that you can't see and injects you by stealth with a germ that the immune system can't even deal with, can't reverse, can't neutralize. That's the nature of the tick, the deer tick, which is the black-legged tick so common in the northeastern seaboard in also areas like North Carolina and Virginia, but Minnesota, Michigan, and Wisconsin terrible, and then throughout much of the United States. You can get Lyme disease in every state. So you're dealing with a complete catastrophe. There's no reason to get it because it really is just whether or not you get bit or not. This year is terrible. The ticks are through beyond count. We had a warm winter and we had also a lot of humidity this year. I had one guy tell me he's had a dog that has picked up 200 ticks so far and it's just May. Time to do prevention. No reason to get it. It's terrible to get Lyme disease. You know, I got it. I've written the book about it, The Lyme Disease Cure. It took a lot of work to beat it back, a lot of natural remedies to knock him out. So I want to help you out. 70% of all Lyme occurs within 100 yards of a person's house. So, you know, not that many people are hunting in the deep woods anymore, all right? Unfortunately, it's the nature of the beast that if you do a lot of that, you're at a high risk. A hunter, a fisher, and all that, a woodsman, a lot of risk. But that being said, you could get it in your backyard. So take some precaution. If you're in a high risk zone especially, take and wear my clothing recommendations. Long sleeve, make it light if it's in the hot and all that. Long sleeve or long pant, pull a pant leg, or pull a sock over the pant leg, wear white light socks, white light colored sh uh, shoes like sneakers, and then a broad brimmed hat. And then as far as the exposed parts, use a really good spray. Not citronella is not that good. Uh, I would use the Protect X. It's very effective. Geranium, lavender, cumin, it's very rare stuff. Juniper, different unique things. And I would miss those spots that are exposed. Definitely here. And then especially the shoes, the socks, the pant leg up to the knee. If you do that, they're not gonna come on. And the same with the dogs. This is so effective. You spray the underbelly of the dog or the between the shoulder blades, the pads of the feet. And this one is safe for babies, for dogs, for cats, whatever you want. That's the power of nature. Stay with nature and you shall be well.